Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are dealing with a graphing problem that also deals with inequalities. So the question says, which of the following systems of inequalities best describes the shaded region in the figure shown to the right? So the first thing that I notice is that we have this line here, which is y equals two. And if you notice, the shaded region is always above that. So that tells us that y is greater than or equal to 2. Similarly, for the x values, we have this line here, which is x equals 0. And everything to the right of that, or the greater y values, I'm sorry, x values, are also shaded. So that again tells us that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. Now this part is probably the part that's going to give you the most confusion, but if you notice, this is a line that passes through the origin, which is 0, 0, and it tells you that it passes through this point here, 4, 4. So you could use that information and find the equation of the line, and after doing that you would get y equals x. And if you notice, um, it might be hard for you to tell that this actually means that y is greater than or equal to x, but what you can tell is, let's say you pick any point in the shaded area. Let's say you pick this point here. The coordinates of that point are 4, comma, I'm sorry, 1, comma, 4. So if you notice, your y value is greater than your x value. So let's test that with another point. Let's go ahead and test this point here. So the coordinates of this point are 2, comma, 3. So again, your x value 2 is less than your y value 3. Um, so basically, that's going to tell you um, that your y has to be greater than or equal to your x. So yeah, if you can't intuitively see that, it's always a good, you know, a good alternative to just pick some points and kind of see what it tells you. So now we have these three pieces of information here. And looking through the answer choices, this one doesn't even involve our x, this doesn't involve our y, well it does but not this y, y and 2 relationship. This is also missing a constraint. And then out of these, it looks like answer choice E here has this y is greater than or equal to 2. So one more thing I should point out is that even if you weren't sure about this relationship, what you what you could have done is just use your x is greater than or equal to 0 and your y is greater than or equal to 2 and made a pretty confident guess at this answer choice E. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like it and subscribe to my channel. My email is in the description box if you need any Skype tutoring or if you would like to um, request any other videos to be made. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!